and you know, I had the uh, heavier jacket on today, yeah. and it still was hard to stay warm right. out there. Yeah, we got that wind kicking up, and it uh, certainly uh, was a cold blast of air sitting here across the Bay Area. And we're going to see more of that as we head through the next couple of days. Let's take it outside right now to Livermore, where you are checking in with 49 degrees. Winds out of the east northeast at nine miles per hour, and we are dropping fast. Look at this 41 at 8 p.m., and then we are down to the 30s here at 11 p.m and right into midnight. Now, the thing that's producing this cold blast is this area of high pressure. It's also responsible for keeping that storm track away. It's just pushing that main storm track with all that rainfall well off to the north. But the circulation around this, that's what's driving down this cold and dry blast right through the Bay Area. So in case you missed it, we do have a freeze watch and also uh, a frost advisory and also a freeze warning in effect. Uh, that light purple color, that's where it's going to be chilly, but not quite the coldest. And then you can see in this dark purple color, uh, that's where numbers will get down near freezing with the freeze warning. Temperatures ranging 29 to 39. The other thing we'll have to watch out for is some on and off wind gusts tomorrow morning, 10 to about 20 miles per hour. That's going to give us a wind chill uh, with temperatures that'll feel like the mid to upper 20s. So make sure to layer up. It's the best way to uh, combat that cold as we head through tomorrow morning. So as we started off, you can see mostly clear skies. Temperatures here in the 30s got it to 31 in the Tri Valley, average of 35 in the Peninsula, South Bay right there at 32, and we're dipping it down to 32 here in the East Bay, San Francisco 39, and the North Bay right there at 32 as well. Now, daytime highs we move through tomorrow. It's going to warm up, you know, decent, but because of that cold start, we'll still have a hard time pushing over 60 degrees. So you may need that jacket into the afternoon. 57 here in Los Gatos, 60 East San Jose, 59 in Morgan Hill. Over to the East Bay, I have it up to 58 Martinez, 57 Pleasanton, and 58 in Oakland. Numbers are really uh, pretty much the same, no matter where you head here across the Bay Area. Lots of uh, 57 to 58 degrees here through the peninsula. San Francisco, I have 57 in downtown, and for the North Bay, 60 here in Santa Rosa, 57 in Mill Valley. So we're in the dry trend now, but that's going to change for us. I still have some chances of rain coming our way this week. It's not a big storm system, but anything else we can add to that rain bucket will continue to keep the fire danger low and help us out with the drought. So by Thursday night, this storm system is going to start to move in and then we're looking at some rainfall here by Friday morning. Totals on that one as we head into Friday, quarter to half inch for the North Bay, Santa Cruz Mountains, parts of the East Bay, uh, less here for the South Bay, trace amounts to about two tenths of an inch. And if you're going up to the Sierra, anytime from Friday through Sunday, we're looking at totals from eight to 17 inches. So on that seven day forecast, you can see it right here dry next two days. Then we get those chances of rain. We dry out Saturday. Then that additional chance as we head into Sunday's forecast right now, that would bring us about a quarter to a half inch on Sunday as well. So we are not looking at major storms this week, but again, it's going to be beneficial for us and just what we need as we continue through the winter season. Just what we need indeed. Yep. Jeff, as always, thanks so much. Yeah.